Good morning. Another three-dimensional figure they can ask you to calculate the surface area and the volume of is a cone. And I have a cone here, and a cone looks like this. I'm sure you are familiar with it, because who doesn't like ice cream, yeah? Like an ice cream cone, yeah? So that is a cone, and if I would just draw it here or sketch it, yeah, this is what a cone looks like. There we go. And the formulas, again, like spheres and like pyramids, are given to you uh, in the question. But still, it's good to know where they come from. Um, the volume of a cone, yeah, do you remember how to find the volume of a pyramid? Yeah, that was base area, base area, times the height, and all of that divided by three. Yeah? And the same thing for a cone, because in one of my different videos I show you that that relates to the cylinder around the cone. Yeah? It will fit in three times into the cylinder, but I showed it in a different video. So also the volume of a cone, like the volume of a pyramid, is, if you like, a third times base area times the height. All right. And that formula will be given to you, so you don't necessarily have to remember that. But what kind of a figure is the base of a cone? What kind of a figure is that? That is a circle. So, the volume of a cone equals a third times area of a circle, pi r squared times the height, okay? And again, that will be given to you, but you just need to know where that all comes from. It is important to realize, again, that the height is that perpendicular height on the base. Yeah, perpendicular to the base. So, this is the height, yeah? Or, if you like, inside the cone, that will be the height, okay? Now, what is the radius? Well, I hope you are aware of that now. Let me do that. With this pen, the radius is that line from the center of the circle to the circumference. So that is the radius. Yeah? So, pi r squared, base area, times the height and all of that divided by 3. That is for the volume of a cone. What about the surface area? Well, the surface area, if I just do SA for surface area, Let's have a look there. I'm, I grab my cone, but I take, I take it outside. What is the surface? Well, first of all, we have that base, of course. Eh? So if it's a solid, because in some questions perhaps they say, well, there's nothing there. But when it is a solid cone, you have that base. So we have, anyway, pi r squared for the base. Now we're talking about surface area now, the area at the surface. But then we also have this curved surface area. Yeah, and if I would open it up, look at that, so this part, it is actually the area of a sector, okay, the area of a sector. But I'm not going to show you now how to get that, because the formula again will be given to you, and what will they say? Well, the surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l. Hang on a minute, l, what is the l? Oh, let me make it a proper l, sorry guys, pi r l. And what is the L? Now the L is the slant height. All right, so the L is the slant height. So if I grab my cone, the L would be this height, yeah? So we have a perpendicular height. Yeah, can we see that? A perpendicular height. And now the L is the slant height, okay? Again, a formula that will be given to you in a question. However, you know, you should know what it all means, eh? surface area, space area plus the curved surface, that's pi r l pi times the radius times the slant height, where the volume is a third times pi r squared uh, base area times the height, which is the perpendicular height. Okay, now let's try a few questions together, and I'm sure you will do excellent. Okay, I'll see you at the example questions.